Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil, and in this Vue.js video tutorial, we will see last two lifecycle methods. One is before destroyed, and another is destroyed. So now let's check out the points of this video. These are the small three points. First of all, we will see how they they both before destroyed and destroyed lifecycle method will work. Then we have to make a toggle feature with a button inside the app dot view file. I will tell you why we have to use it and after that we will define before destroy and destroyed function inside the home component and we will use them so let's look out how they work and when they work inside with the diagram so as you know in the Vue.js we have the eight main lifecycle methods and uh, on the six I already made a videos so before create created the first two then before mount and mounted are the third and fourth then before update and updated are the fifth and sixth and the last two are here so they both are called when our component is just removed or de deleted from the DOM alright so I have for example I have a hide button and on a click of hide button I can just uh, remove any component on that time inside the removed component the two method will the lifecycle method will be called just before destroying before destroy method will be going to call and after destroyed the destroyed lifecycle method will be called now let's see it with the example so first of all uh, i'm just going to show you the my app com home component as well as my app component so in the home component i don't have uh, too much code there is just one property with a name and this is the h1 tag all right and here you can see it Perfect. After that, uh, inside my app.view file, the home component is imported and displayed here. So I can just remove the h1 tag from here. I don't need it now. Only this one is enough. Alright. So I am just going to make a button. On a button click, I am just going to hide and show, or you can see the toggle of this home component so that we can just achieve the destroy feature. So just simply write here a button like toggle can be text on it and just write a v on click method and here just write here toggle method and now let's define a toggle method so for that i just need to add a dis methods property and just write here toggle method here and one more thing I just need to one more property so just define the data function return uh, display property with a true value let's create and now in a toggle function let's make it toggle this dot display will be opposite of this dot display all right so whenever I'm just going to click on if the property is true then it will become a false and if this is a false then it will become a, a true so now um, let's take a div here div uh, just write here a condition uh, just write here v if display property is true then home component should be displayed now you can see that home component is by default display because by default property of the display function is true now let's click on it okay so there is some issue let me check uh, uh yeah actually i just need to correct the spelling of the toggle now let's try once again so whenever i click on a toggle it will be going to hide and show so when i am just going to hide it then the home component is destroyed but we have to define the lifecycle method if we just want to achieve some functionality so home component is destroyed so let's uh, just write the lifecycle method in the home component only just write here destroy before destroy and here i am just going to make an alert and just write here uh, before destroyed method called and now just make a copy of it and just 
right here destroyed all right so here i am just going to tell you let's say now before destroying the component you if you just want to call some api some remove some data or anything that you just want to perform then you can do it here and if you just want to call any functionality after destroying then you can call here so before destroy function is al always called first then destroyed function will be called here you can see that if i am just going to destroy it here then you will find that before destroy method is called then destroy method is called so they will call every time all right so here is a space or you can see that you can use them as an event if you just want to perform some um feature or something else for example uh, maybe in this component uh, maybe this is a, the remove item from a card is the feature so if just click on it then you are uh, you can say that uh, your item is removed from the card and then you just want to call an api so that the same thing should be uh, done in the database also or you just want to make a call uh, api to remove the card then you can do it here right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video bye bye take care